I love history. I love history. I'm a social historian. The, 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 that these are stories that I've I have uncovered myself mostly, and um, I relate them to actual locations and property. So it it it, it has a tangible effect, and um, I think people enjoy it. Uncle Rory was an architect. Um, he lived for many years and. Uh, in, in Guyana, but he's, he was educated here in the United Kingdom. Uh, in 1961, he was part of a group of students who submitted an application in Piccadilly Circus in London to redesign this iconic location. Well, they happened to win that competition. Uh, in, and it was quite a, a revealing thing when the headlines stated Three non-whites win competition to redesign Piccadilly Circus. Well, Uncle Rory was very pleased. His, his, his colleagues, one from Ghana, the other from Malaysia, um, they all shared, I believe it was about 500 pounds each. But um, that was a crowning achievement for him. Many people spoke about it, and all the Guyanese here in England in the 60s were very proud of his achievement. So Rod, we are here to talk about Snake Hips. Tell me, tell me who he was. Snake Hips Johnson was the most famous entertainer in London in the 1930s. He was a Guyanese that came here having trained in, in being a, a band leader in the United States, thought that uh, his, his, his future would be better served in the United Kingdom, and it was. Right here at the Café de Paris, he was performing, 1941, Bombs flying over London, bombed this place, killed him instantly. Most famous Guyanese, died in 1941. Snake Hips Johnson, you can still hear his music on YouTube. used to be the Lions Tea Room. Ly Lions, L-Y-O-N-S, Lions Tea Room. Now, in, in, in the, during the Second World War, when the, when the soldiers wanted to make some extra money, especially from the colonies, Lions, it's not that anymore, would hire them to do menial jobs like washing dishes and, and, and being um, porters and so forth. I had a, I had, yeah, I hate to talk about my uncles, but I did have another uncle, Dennis, that got a job here as a dishwasher. And it, he, he, said, he, said to me, he said, a little old lady came up to him while he was washing dishes and said, where are you from? And he says, I'm from British Guyana. Oh, I hear they eat mice there. And he thought, with all the clanging of the, the, the noise and so on, that she said rice and said, well, yes, we do, but we don't eat it like you with sugar and milk. We put a little salt in ours. And she went, eh! And she ran away from him. But that's a true story. It was right here where he, got, he was working. <laughs> so, but that, that is sort of is the mindset of the British people at that time. They thought that those from the colonies were um, backward. They lived in trees. They wore banana skins as shoes and so on. But uh, Uncle Dennis got the better of her. 